No be everybody wake up oh, when them hear the sound of the kukuruku. Again, and no be hip hop. Oh. You got to decide because you can't do the two. Them say, them say, make a man go broke. Them say, you can't lick mango with coke. Free your mind and don't you lose hope. <laughs> Yo, what's up, people? How you doing? They call me Anonymous Ninja. Why Anonymous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Anonymous is actually um, a scam. I would say it's a scam. It's a face to mirage, a mirage more like I want to disguise myself and let people understand that most times you can focus on the music and not the personality. You know, there will be less drama, there will be less of. Um, I don't going to get this discussion. Ah, I see Anonymous for here, they climb back. I said, yeah, now if I hold up, catch me, I feel enter bike. Zoom, go airport or go to wherever I'm going to and nobody will like put it on Insta blog or tune or not or ridicule me with it. So Anonymous was built actually to have a face that is faceless. Yeah, exactly, that's just the word. So people would focus on the music. They would not look at it. guy is fine, I'll be ugly. He's short, I'll be okay, short, they can see my eyes. Hey, whether he's fine or he's ugly, he get one thing for face, one defect or not. It just keeps people focused on the music that I produce. Which is my most important part of me, and that's it. Okay. Um, when did Anonymous start making music? Okay, 2018, I would say December 2018. I started with the song Scam. It's Scam. I think we'll get to talk about that too. But that was December 2018, probably. Okay. Um, so there was an incident on Twitter. Okay. okay. Um, that went viral. Okay. Someone tried to um, embarrass you, <laughs> and it ended up becoming a blessing. Yeah. Um, first of all, in that moment when the, the lady responded, like, you know, low budget, black budget, and all that, um, you could have been angry and responded, you know, in a vile manner, but you chose not to. Why? Yeah, I think it goes with my personality. You know, I've come to understand how life is. One minute you're here. The next minute you're dust. So I just feel sometimes people are frustrated in their own ways. They feel a lot of weight. Whenever they're on social media, you don't know them, they don't know you. So it's easy for it's easier for them to vent their frustrations on you. You understand? So when I saw the message, when I saw the tweet rather at me, because no rather if you remember, if you could if you go back, you remember that the previous day I had already given up on music. I was like on the brand anonymous though. Like, let me just chill and maybe later in life I could find someone to support me. So I was about quitting, about doing my last giveaway because I do giveaways a lot. But I did my last giveaway. My fans were like, no, you don't have to leave. So when I saw that girl's this thing, I just thought of the millions or the thousands of fans that were looking up to me. You know, those that had their had to get their time to come and tweet at me and message me in my DM to keep up. Uh, I was like, this girl doesn't probably she doesn't really know me. She doesn't know. The, to me, I just like, okay, you're not my god, thank god you're not my god. It was more like the best and appropriate reply to give her because I knew if I had gone haywire on her and start abusing, and I know a lot of people back. In fact, I won't even get this deal, <laughs> I won't even get signed. Uh, I think that was why. My personality, I'm a very cool, calm person, I'm uh, not really fiery, I'm not a man of war in Daboski, uh, really. Tell us about so. like your. Um, relationship with um, your relationship with the new label. Okay. It's okay. a new relationship. Yeah. What's that yeah. Like? yeah. 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 I'd say it's a family relationship. That's what he, um, TKY boss told me. He said, "This is a family. You know, we've watched you. You're not the only. Because I always, I always say, you're not the best around. You're not the only person around. But there's something about you which would we could work with, which is why they picked me up and." I'm forever grateful because every day loyalty is hard to find these days. If you notice one of the songs I did, I was like, if I blow, I promise you, say, I'm not good to you. Said, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I, I always find it difficult. I always find it difficult to comprehend why an artist would be very humble at the first, the, the start, you know, and then along the line, I always ask myself, what went wrong? You know, because sometimes you pick up an artist from the start and you put in your resources, your time, and then before two years, three years, there's a breakdown in relationships. So I think I've learned from a few people around me 
and I've learned to understand that family first. That's why when they told me they see me as a family, I was very, very excited because I'm not a greedy person. I'm not a, a money monger. I'm more of, I want the world to hear me. So if anybody comes in and wants the word, and then the pace, I will not be, I will not lie to you, the pace at which we've worked so far, bro, it's it's astonishing. You know, we've done a video with Stans, very good video, it will be out probably October, and they are already talking about the EP. And it's more like they, we talk, we vibe, you know, I bring up ideas, they listen to it, they listen to they don't just like say, oh, we are your boss, let's not listen. You know, that's what I appreciate about the label TKY Global, TKY Records. And I believe by God's grace, I'll repay their faith mm. in me. I hope, hopefully, by God's grace. Um, you have a new song coming, that's why you shot the video. For yeah, me. yeah, Boys to Men. Boys to Men, what's yeah. the story behind Boys to Men? Yeah, Boys to Men, I, 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 I named it Hustler's Anthem. You know, Boys to Men is a song of hope. You know, where I'm like, one day I go buy big moto, spend the money like a windy lotto. One day I go walk out for the road. Everybody see me, they won't snap me photo. So it's like a transfiguration from a boy to a man. You know, when you were a boy back then, you don't bother about what you're going to eat. Mom and daddy already got that sorted out. Mm -hmm. So you're going to the kitchen, you're going to get your food and you're playing. In fact, when you're playing evening kind of period, you're playing, you're happy. Something is there. Mm -hmm. But when you become a man, no mom, no dad around to take care of you. Every day is a hustle. Every word you spit out from your mouth is a hustle. Every interaction you have with somebody is a hustle. Mm. Yeah, it's an opportunity to make money or at least get something up. Yeah. So Boys to Men is practically the story of every Nigerian that more like migrated from the rural area to the urban area or from a place of less importance to a place of more importance, you know? More like your hustle, your story. Yeah, so you, you, you got yourself from a boy to a man. It also affects it's all related to girls too, making it less now least for guys. Growth basically. growth, basically. That's just it. Yeah. yeah. What influences your songwriting in general? What uh, you see, this is my phone, eh? People, people are like, change this phone, change this phone, change this phone. It's going to be difficult because I have over a thousand recordings on this phone, yeah. vibes. I could just be walking on the road and I would hear a song. Most times I hear a song and then why the song is playing from a distance, I'm getting a different tune to it. What I do, I'm not, I know a lot of people just write their songs first, no. For me, I get my tune first and then put words to it. You understand? This Boys to Men especially, when I recorded it, I'll be very um, frank with you. Um, I went to, I was taken to uh, Larry Gaga's studio. So when we got, when we got there, uh, one of my senior boss, I may not have to call his name now, but when we got there, um, he played my song Scam for the Larry Gaga and I was like, ah, bring the guy, come now, Baba. So who got there? Larry Gaga told me, bro, I want you to do a song that talks about a storyline, something that has to do with the hustle. Because he was like, my voice sounds like two of us voice. I heard a lot. And he was like, that chair we sit down, so now we are two of us they sit down. Now we are in the economy, now we are in the sit I needed to deliver like, you know. <laughs> That's what he told me. So at first, I was a little bit tensed because he was there, my bigger boss was there and so at the point then I left the studio and they left. Me and the producer Mavi O, we became fire. That was where I did the song there and then. I he actually got to play a, a few beats for me and I picked the one I was could vibe with. And then all that just kept telling him, talking to me, speaking to me was bro, boys to men, boys to men, growth, challenges, growth, challenges too. I just started drafting stuff. And if you notice my lyrics, I try my, my best to make my lyrics to be in between sophisticated and bizarre. Do you understand it? Yeah. So it doesn't be too easy and the cliche, which is your normal, I do like this, I run, they won't kill me, everybody, everybody. And not to be so sophisticated, like people should be able to understand it. Yeah. So you hear words like, waiting, join the gods and cola not. <laughs> Waiting save David, not catapult. So it tells you that this guy knows what he's writing and what he's doing. So the inspiration behind that song, I would give it to Larry Gaga, first and foremost. And then also the, the beats, the instrumental was beautiful. Very melodic, very cool and soothing. So I just had to drop something that would be befit the song and the expectations from Larry and every other person. I think that's how we got a hit, probably by God's grace. A classic hit. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, do you 
How do you handle people saying remove the mask? I know that happens. Oh, well, it's I can a only lot. imagine that. A lot. That no, 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 a lot. So how do you Post. handle that? I've seen people beg. I, I went for an interview once uh, last two weeks. And when the guy was like, eh, okay, can you help us? Okay, there was a girl there. They were like, eh, let, let us snap with you now. Can you take off the mask? So the guy that brought me from the was like, no, 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 it doesn't have to, it's his brand. So the girl was feeling bad. She was like, oh, why now, why now, we need to see him. <laughs> so I think there is this, it's what I wanted, it's what I craved. This mystery around the mask. I could appear as a masquerade tomorrow on stage. I could appear as Batman and Robin. I could appear as Spider-Man. I could just wear a nap a nylon bag on my face. I just want to create some drama around the person. So a lot of people say remove the mask, but the moment I remove the mask, everything don't finish now. What else again it was see? So definitely maybe there might be an unveiling later. But for now, we could just go first, we could just see. Maybe a few people feel they suspect that this person people have called me Angel the Laugh, Angel from Big Brother. Some have said Natu Baba, one other person said J1. Somebody said, this guy, is, sure this guy is not Kiss Daniel. I just like the drama that is going around it, you know. It's, it's still good for the yeah. career, you understand, yeah. So, um, you know, this new deal that you signed, this is like your yeah. first time being signed to a label. Yeah, yeah. This, this puts you in a position where you are now one of the, you know, players. Like, you have a, you have a place now in the industry. Yeah. Where, what do you think, what are your long-term plans for? The anonymous brand. Okay, you know, I'm a football fan, and whenever I, I I get this kind of question asked to coaches, you know, they ask the coach, yeah. okay, what he will tell you, and let's Especially take it to match. Coach. Yeah, he yeah. tell you, I want to go match by match, you know, game by game. But to be honest with you, I won't lie to you. I plan a lot. I could be, you could call me professor from Money Haste. Um, I strategize a lot. I take my time. I study the terrain. I want to go into. So, looking at music for me, I believe this Shame to Fame EP would go right up there, top, top, top. I believe I'm, I'm I, with the work we've put in and the work we're going to still put in, I believe it's going to go right up. I see Anonymous being like a major brand. I won't say A list, A list. By December, by December, bro, I believe strongly that the work me, my team, and every other goodwill people who put in for me would you would be mentioning us with the likes of them, Omale, Fireboy, Joe Boy, because I feel the content is there and I feel the drama is there. And luckily for me, we just had a story that is even pushing us beyond our expectations. So December, December we should be up there. I believe. It's a strong belief and we're gonna work. It's not just to say the word. So lastly. How would you classify the kind of music that I know you listen There's some okay. Now there's this there's this thing people always say. Ah, the music does not have any message. Does not have any message. Nah, that's wrong to me. Mm. I feel music first and foremost is to please the ear. Mm. When we were younger, we used to do music in school. Say so music is the arrangement of sounds in in order that it pleases the ear. That word please the ear. That's why you can see is is Latin do his pakoroko chokoroko chokoroba and it's it goes because yeah. it, the people enjoy it. So the message is secondary. You understand. So I feel first and foremost, my music, my sound. What I, 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 my, I would not love to box myself in a particular genre, but for the essence or for the sake of clarity, I would say I do Afro pop. I think that's more like my sound because okay. I always try to put in some kind of African feel, be it the percussions, be it the lyrics. Yeah to my songs and also the, the harmony and the strings can sound western but I just try to put in so I would say Afro pop could be more like my sound I think that works mm, that works for me